Alrighty, so in that spot right there on the corner, that's a glass place, and that's where my niece used to work. Gilmore Glassworks, and behind it is Izzy's, um, Izzy's Metalwork. Drive 3.5 kilometers, then turn right on Interlaken Road. That diner is still there, Oakhurst Diner and Saperstein's, it's the same store. And my grandfather's office, it was a doctor, his office was right there. It's now a bar. 52, I think. No, this one here, Manadu. His sister said that he would be so thrilled that his house was now a bar, his office. I thought that would just be wonderful. And that ahead of us is one of the churches. I think my mother came up and she had a Sunday school group in one of these churches. Is that this one? There's a Salisbury Bank. I think it's the church right ahead. What is that? Um, the Baptist Church. But she was a congregational church person. So we're gonna go up the street and you can see where my mother's house was. And I can see it again. Ah, my mom and my dad. They met there, I think, or they met at the place where you have a fountain, a sort of fountain place. Grand Union. This is old hat to all my relatives. They're all used to this. But for me, it's always such a wondrous thing to come here. Let's see where my mom used to ride her horse in here from her house at the state line. It's just ahead. Ride it into Millerton. Yeah, at the bait and bottom of that big hill ahead. I think I'll let this person go past me. Yep, that's the house my mother lived in, right there, the white building. And these are the cottages that she would take care of. And all these little cottages, she would go to clean out the cottages for the little children that would come. In the summertime, they'd come and rent the cottages and she'd give them horseback riding, horseback rides, back in the day. And that was her house right ahead, right there. And all those lilac bushes, I have pictures of her beside those lilac bushes. There's a pond in all those trees. Amazing to see these and think about my mom and how she came up here. She put her book in her in the bag. She was supposed to go out and change all the sheets in all these little cabins. She would stick her book in the bag and then she would go sit there and read while her sister did all the work. She felt bad about it years later. I think this blue house is where the Kimballs lived. I think those are the people that own the, the house over here with the, the store. My mom would make sandwiches 
this was a gas station and the trucks would pull in and in the bottom you can see it right there in the bottom area that's where my mother and her sisters and brothers used to sleep up on the top there there was no there's no heat I don't even think it was all closed in her mom would put hot irons in the beds or stones and downstairs was the little shop where everybody would stop and you could buy a sandwich there. This all means a lot to me now. My mom's gone. And over there is the pond. And there was a there was an ice house in the pond. swim in the pond and they would skate. They would skate on the pond and the ice house. And I think one of the horses fell in the ice once and died. It was a terrible thing. They made mom go away. She wouldn't let her be there. And there was a big old stump and they would they would burn the stump and have a campfire. Everybody would come and skate. Isn't that amazing? This is now State Line Car 